You make bread too? When it's a little cooler outside, I can. Wow, amazing. When she finished the small plate she had made for herself, she leaned back on her bar stool. So, while you're doing your fixer-upper thing, what do you eat? He shrugged. Sometimes I'll make a sandwich or whip up eggs for breakfast. Otherwise, I'll find a local chef who can curate some meals for me and I'll pay extra for that. An idea immediately formed in her head. Then again, she didn't really know him. Like, at all. How do you know Greg? We've worked together a few times, doing some investment projects. So he'd vouch for you. You know, confirm you're not a serial killer. He laughed. Uh, yeah, I think so. Excuse me a second. She disappeared and stepped outside, making yet another call to Ginger and Greg, who probably had second thoughts about their friendship with her. But Greg confirmed that Link was a good guy and she had nothing to worry about. Though Ginger asked why she wanted to know and if he'd done anything wrong. She assured her friend that he'd been a perfect gentleman and was even allowing her to stay for a few extra days. When Greg confirmed that was the Link he knew, she felt immensely better. When she got off the phone, she had a plan formulated. Link would probably never go for it, but it might buy her some time to figure things out. She pulled up to her spot at the peninsula and said, you must burn a ton of calories while you're doing your, your thing around here. You could say that. Wouldn't it be great to have an on-call chef to cook for you? He cocked his head to the side and studied her for a few seconds, then said, Go ahead and tell me your idea. She leaned forward. Okay, say the dogs and I stay here while you're renovating. I promise we are very good at not getting in the way. And while you're working, I cook for you. You know I'm demolishing the kitchen, right? She shrugged. There's a kitchenette in the guest house behind the pool, has a mini stove and an oven. Plus there's a grill out back. Trust me when I tell you that I am very resourceful when it comes to cooking. And in exchange, you'd only want the ability to crash here. Not exactly. I still have to take care of the dogs, and I have other expenses, so I'd expect a minimal salary. We can discuss that. But first tell me how you ended up here, in an empty house with five dogs and no furniture. Damn, she was hoping she wouldn't have to reveal that part. Fine, my ex-husband swindled me out of our house and all our money. His eyes widened. What? How did he manage that? Let's just say I foolishly allowed him to handle our finances, and before I knew it, our bank accounts were empty, the house was double mortgaged, and there was nothing left. And then he filed for divorce and left the state. His jaw dropped. Wow, I'm sorry. That must have sucked. It did. We were a mess before that, but I guess I didn't pull the divorce trigger fast enough. And I have no one to blame but myself for letting things go south like that. I should have been paying closer attention. It wasn't like I didn't see the signs. 